Hello everyone and welcome to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest Randomized I don't know why this exists But it does And I'm going to play it So I have to spoil Who I picked as our character sprite Before we get started But that's okay We're playing as Aerith from Final Fantasy 7 <laughs> Because why not Uh oh Oh. Okay, so it skips the intro. We're Aerith. We got 40 life. We started with the cat claw, which I think is bad. Although, we are able to poison enemies right off the bat. Okay. Let's go to the level forest. We'll talk about the things that are different as we go. Ooh, like that. Oh, I can't get that, though. So treasure chests are randomized. So normally brown chests that have just healing potions might have an important item now. I can't get that though. All right, old man. Oh, ho! finding 28 sky coin fragments shouldn't be too difficult for the hero. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh no. Okay. So that's one of the changes is I to get to the final dungeon. I have to collect 28 sky coins, which are scattered in chests. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and move that for you. After all these years, I can go back home. <laughs> oh, we got a all right, one right off the bat. I like that. And a cure potion. I can't do anything else here. Can I? Oh, oh, I can. Oh, that's neat. I can go anywhere here. I'm going to go to town because I need someone on my team. Hello, Kaylee. Please join my team. Hey there, lubber. The forest is dying. Tell that to the... F what? <laughs> Marines. It's totally fine. What? Forgot his cat and cat. I hope nothing happened. Um, you're supposed to... Ch oh, no. I need the tree wither. I don't have the tree wither. <laughs> Gemini Crest. Uh, that lets me teleport. I don't hate that. I do like that I, I think I move faster. Ooh, this normally has a cure spell. It has the elixir. So I can heal Kaylee when the time comes. Is that oh, that's a red one too. Is there a treasure? Oh, there is. What do you got? Oh, heal spell. That's actually really helpful. Okay. I can't do anything here. All right, moving on. Uh, oh, so one of the things I did randomize is the battlefield. Sometimes you do less than 10. Let's, uh, stab you. Uh-oh. Um. Ooh. Oh, okay. Crit, got him. I'm gonna heal. I don't trust that toad to just stand there doing nothing. That only healed 10 health. Alright, is, is this one of those things where he won't do anything until I attack? Uh, I missed. Is he bugged? Right, stay bugged! Got him! Oh, he leveled up? I'm gonna go heal. So, this is a game I actually have a lot of experience with it was really probably the first RPG I've ever played and for some reason I kept playing them after this because <laughs> I could see I, I could see the ideas behind it and I wanted more I wanted to see it executed well I think is what it came down to uh oh 
Well, I'm taking 32 damage every round. Double crit, though. All right, I'm just going to have to heal up after <laughs> every single time. No reason to get heal potions because those are kind of worthless. Did it randomize how much they heal? So this game came to me as a Christmas present one year. I believe it was the year it came out. And the lead up to that Christmas, my grandma kept asking me about this game called Mystic Quest. Would I be interested in it? So I went home and I went through a bunch of my Nintendo powers and couldn't find anything about it. Kept looking Mystic Quest. I also had uh, there was like an index they released that basically had every game they had ever covered. So I looked through that and I'm trying to find Mystic Quest. I'm like, I don't see anything called Mystic Quest. There was another game that had like, it was like Mystic, I think it was Mystic Circus with Mickey Mouse. I'm like, is that it? She's like, no, no, this is called Mystic Quest. And so I kept looking and you know, like every like every time I would go see my grandma, she would ask me about Mystic Quest if it was something I would be interested in. And I kept saying, I have no idea what this is. I'm pretty sure by that point she had already bought it. And was just trying to make sure she didn't need to, say, return it. So eventually what I did find is I was going through this that index of Nintendo games that Nintendo Power had covered. And one day I'm, I saw Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. So I, I found the issue that went with it. I looked it up and I mean, you know, you look at the, the overworld and it's got this kind of like Super Mario World kind of overworld. So I'm like, okay. You know, it's got a lot of medieval fantasy stuff, which I was very into at the time, and I still really am. So that was a selling point. So, I, I mean, I told my grandma, sure, yeah, Mystic Quest. Because apparently, and then I got it Christmas, <laughs> along with uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men. <laughs> so, that was a good year for games. <laughs> And played it. And the one thing I think I really liked about it was I I've mentioned this numerous times before on the channel, where I just share the Nintendo Super Nintendo with my brothers. So basically, you got like, oh, this is gonna be not. Good. Oh, I'm gonna take so much damage. Oh, wait, they only deal three now. Never mind. We're fine. So I just share the Super Nintendo with my brothers, which meant you came home from school, you got like an hour to play, and then it was the next person's turn. And really like on a weekday, you could maybe squeeze in two hours, but they were also two hours kind of separated. And that was like best case scenario. So, what really appealed to me was the idea that if I didn't, like in any other game, if I didn't have time to like get through a level at the very least, then I'm not getting a password for the end of that level. I'm not, there's no like checkpoint or anything. So that time is just wasted, right? So you get 45 minutes into your hour turn, it's like, well, I, I can't really do anything. I mean, I'm gonna, gonna play and see what's next, but it doesn't matter. I got, I got money. All right. Can I even do this? Hello? Defeat evil treasure hunting sounds like a great business opportunity. I'm in. Oh! He just joins. Okay, cool. That actually would have been helpful for the battlefield. Alright, whatever. Clear out the other two. I want to talk a little bit more about Mystic Quest. Ooh, this one's only four. That, that randomized in my favor. Oh, he's on auto. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I know how to play video games. 
I don't need them on auto. Oh, wait, now they're attacking me. Uh, we will heal. So the idea that I could just, like, come into this game and fight enemies and level up was really appealing. Because I, I never felt like any of my time was wasted. I mean, aside from the game itself. But that's, that's it really kind of attracted me to RPGs, was this idea that my time... I, at that time, however short it was, I could go and I could level up. And then I could get through dungeons faster because I was higher level. So... Weird as it is to say, this game did kind of like start my, my love of RPGs. Even though it's not a particularly good one. So I have to do these battlefields. <laughs> Boring as they may be. I don't know how exciting it is to, to watch. But I have to do them because they give you items. And they might be items I need to beat the game. Or they could be the flare spell, which would be helpful. Could also be... What was, like, gold last time? One. Oh, my. I don't need... I got money. What about... Oh, I can... How far into this can I go? What's this way? I know where I need to go. Wait, what? See, I always did this, but apparently you can just go around? Today I learned something new about Mystic Quest. That path just goes- oh, here we go. Ninja Star is nine. I can't get through without the sword coin. Alright, so I gotta- I gotta find the sword coin. Wait, can I secret my way through here? Nope. Not having the axe hurts. And Keeley won't join me. So, Alright. How bad is this going to be? Whoa, there's a Minotaur. This is going to be bad. He's normally like a boss. Zombie Minotaur? Oh, no. Okay. That could have been way worse. Yeah, I don't believe you can normally do this one until you finish the bone dungeon. But I want to get every single item I can possibly get. So, as much fun as it is to kind of crap on this game. Like, it's not... It's not like offensively bad. It's just very easy. It The story... The story just, like, kind of misses some potential. Like, there's some good ideas. And plot points, but just overall doesn't execute particularly well. Certainly not worth getting this over Final Fantasy V, although it's weird to say that because... I may never have gotten into RPGs if we had gotten Final Fantasy V instead of this. I don't know if that's true, though. Because, like, I didn't necessarily go and seek out a ton of other RPGs after this. Like, really what cemented my love of RPGs was Final Fantasy VI. Like, I went- a friend rented it. Ooh. Oh. Please win the fight. I had the sun coin! Oh, wait. Oh, that- that lets me proceed, right? Yeah. Ooh. That's interesting. That's really cool. I'm still gonna heal up. I'm gonna go through the bone dungeon because then I'm pretty much done here if I can if I can get through there I may not be able to get through there 
if Tristam doesn't give me bombs, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, I'm assuming this is going to be a, a little bit shorter randomizer, which is fine. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I have, a, I have the sword, but it's not the good... Oh, there we go. Oh, I got bombs. I'll fight you. So the sword does hit harder than the cat claws. So as you can see, they kind of randomized the layout of the enemies. We've got a cure potion. Okay. Man, walking right in and getting... The steel sword and bombs. That's huge. Aerith leveled up. So otherwise we would have been in some trouble here. So one neat thing about this game is that you can use your weapons on the overworld and do things like that. Heal potion, nice. So like I said, it's not all bad. Just very simplistic and kind of sad that we got this instead of Final Fantasy V. Care to invest in my steel shield venture? I'll give you an early prototype. Oh! Okay, I don't hate that. That could that could have been worse. Found a refresher. I believe that heals all status ailments or something. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, whatever. I mean, I meant to do that to level up. Definitely. So, some of the things I did in this randomizer, I did increase the amount of experience and I think gold that you get. I got the arrow spell? Not bad. Not that this is a hard game, but I just didn't want to be stuck doing a ton of random battles. Wake what? Oh, I forgot what that does. So here's the other thing, I haven't played this game in probably close to a decade, even longer since I've fully played through it. Wow, there's just steel helm, there's just treasure everywhere. Oh, as a behemoth. I didn't need to fight him. I just realized the sand was not blocking my path. I feel like normally it is. I also realized Tristan's gonna leave my party soon. Sky Fragment, all right, how are we doing on those? We've got two and I need 28, that's not awful. Ugh. I think, the, aren't those normally magic seeds? Things I don't remember setting, I don't remember changing the dungeon layouts because it seems like I can get around a lot of this. I kind of want the extra levels. I don't remember levels at all for this game, like what level I should be at what point. Another Sky Fragment, okay. Really like one more level before we move on. Like I feel like a lot of other Final Fantasy games I could tell you what level I normally am at least at a lot of places. I couldn't tell you this game at all. I don't even know what the max level is. 
Ah, oh, okay. Grr, he'll never beat me. I mean, I'm hoping you're wrong. All right, we'll try the arrow spell. <laughs> Critical hit, 300 damage. Ooh. 600 damage, that'll do. Never mind, we're gonna be a okay. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna hurt. 71 damage. Bleh. Also, another neat thing about this game. The enemies get uh, hurt as you fight them. He's gonna steal a treasure, isn't he? Can it be the one on the right? That'd be funny. So normally you come here because you need an elixir, which I already have. Uh, Tristan comes here because he wants treasure. The treasure he normally takes is the one on the right. No, oh, he's he's still here. Oh, that's huge! And I got seeds. Okay. I don't have the exit spell. That would be helpful. Okay, with that, I can actually be done here. Because I can go back to the level forest. So when does Tristam leave? How do I get him out of my party? Because he should be gone. And I would kind of like him gone. <laughs> Ooh, maybe not. I don't know. I like having another party member, but... I feel like he needs to go. Don't need that. They're weak to axes. That's another neat thing about this game, actually. The enemies, on top of having elemental weaknesses, are also weak to specific weapons, a lot of them. Skeletons don't like swords, which seems weird. Ah, oh, those worms don't like axes. Oh, what? What are you? I realize I haven't saved this entire time. I should do that. Oh, he wasn't here because the old man was in his way the last time, I'm assuming. You're not normally there. Anyway, save. Get a charm. Oh, I think I have full armor now. Yep, I have something in every slot. This is actually going pretty well. Just go around you. Nine ninja stars that I desperately need. Alright, I want to see how badly I can break this game. Oh, the blizzard spell. That would have been helpful against that. The flamerous rex. Okay. So what happens if I come up to this tree? Not nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed? To oh wait, I can get this. A sand coin. So I can actually move on to the next area. I just need to, so, triggering some of the story stuff is going to be rough. <laughs> okay, getting the sand coin was really lucky. Because otherwise we'd have to go through here, and I'm worried we would die pretty fast. <laughs> Although I'm curious. So 
there's like a lot of treasure inside the tower itself. Oh. There we go. Also, you can't argue with the music in this game. You really can't. Alright. I don't want to go through there yet. We'll go through here. This will be much safer. I think there's a... Normally... Oh, it's down there. I can't get that yet. Alright. This seems like a good place to call first episode. We finished pretty much the entire first zone. Pretty good for 20 minutes. Although we still, I still have to figure out how to get Keeley in my party. That's going to be interesting. So we only do the sales pitch around here once where I say if you're enjoying the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing and let me know in the comments. After this, we aren't going to talk about it anymore. You might ask for comments, but other than that, no no more like, subscribe, all that stuff. Do it this time, and then I don't I don't bug you about it later. <laughs> so let me know if you're looking forward to the series in the comments. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.